What's up, everybody? Welcome. We are on our way to Northeast right now. We are going down to take a look at a pursuit. So let's go. Well, all right, we made it out. We are here on our the S328 Pursuit. Very nice boat. So let's see what's up with it. All right, so we have a couple of issues here. The first one is we keep getting satellite reception lost on this Garmin here. It only does it when you first turn the screen on. After that, it doesn't do anything. It works perfectly. The other issue is both our fuel tanks are full, but we're only showing about half on the port side. So I'll show you this in a second. Let's go to this first because there's something important here with the Garmin. All right, we've had a lot of issues in the past with software not being up to date, causing weird glitches or error codes coming up when they shouldn't be, stuff like that. So in order to check this, if you go right to your home screen here, go to settings, and go to system, you go to system information. And if you go to software information right here, it will tell you what your software version is. We're actually already up to about 22, I think, right now. So this one is needing to be updated. So in order to do that, there's a couple things you can do. You can download it onto an SD card, or Garmin made this really nice. If you go to your active captain here, you sync all this up with your phone, you'll be able to download the newest software for the Garmin's and it will automatically do it next time you come out to the boat once you sync these all together. So right here where it says software updates, you would just click that, it would check it. It walks you through, it's very, very simple. But it's very important because it'll get rid of a lot of the little glitches that you end up finding with these machines trying to talk to each other. And they keep updating, you know, the 22 will turn to 23 next month and 24 the month after that. So make sure you keep your garments up to date and it will help with a lot of the little things that you find happening. All right, so the customer is going to update the Garmin's on his own so he can learn how to do it and keep it up to date. Our other problem here with the fuel sender, I've already diagnosed, so let me show you. Okay, so after I inspected everything here, we have our starboard tank, port tank. Here's our fuel sender itself. This tank is actually full. You can hear it. This one's also full, but this one's only showing half, so. Switch the sender to a good one, brand new one here. All right, that sender set on full and it's reading correctly. Let's move this all the way down. Going empty now. All right, so we verified that our sender here is bad. The problem that I have is this tank is full, so if I take this sender out, it will let two or three gallons of fuel into the builds probably. So we're gonna have to come back when the boat's been run a few times to get the fuel level low enough that I can trade that sender up. So let's move on to the next boat. Well hey there, we made it to the next boat. So this is a Grady White. It is a 236. Our complaint here is that we don't have any steering. All right, so if we spin the wheel and look back, there ain't nothing moving. So I've already actually looked under the helm. There's no fluid under there. Looking back in the bilge here, see what we can see. Oh, you can see good. There's a, that's a line of fluid right there. After looking at everything, the power steering pump, there's a leak right there at that fitting. So I'm gonna take this apart, reseal this stuff, double check all the rest of them, and then bleed the steering out. We'll have to clean this bilge out too. So I'm not sticking my phone down in that crap down there, so. I'll get all this fixed and then I'll show you how to bleed the steering. All right, so we got all of our fittings tightened. Let's clean this bilge up so we can make sure there's no more leaks. Got a bunch of soap in there. All right, so we got our fittings tightened up, our builds is clean, now let's hook up the bleeder. So we have our helm here, under our oil fill. Just gonna take this cap off. Use our fitting here. Make 
goes in the helm. Usually what I do with the lines is hang them up. That way the air will purge out a lot faster. As soon as you hook it up, you'll, you'll see air right away. So it's already starting to purge itself. All right, so I'm cheating because I have a pump here to help me bleed the steering. But essentially we're hooking up to the helm. We're gonna hook up to the back here. Then our ram. Essentially we're gonna loosen the fittings on the ram here. Turn this machine on and watch all the air come through the system. The whole idea here is to get every bit of air out of the system so that the steering will be as tight as possible. Let's turn the machine on. You start to see it pull fluid here. See it's pulling air out of the, the ram also. So if we steer it, we should be able to help it bleed faster. Just watch the motor move with it, if it will. So this takes a little bit of time, so I'm gonna keep doing this until she's all bled out. All right, she's steering good. I'm all done with this one. We're gonna pack it up, call it a day. Gotta get it loaded up for tomorrow because we're taking Oscar to get service for the first time. But we're gonna be riding with a special guest. So I'll see you then.